Hello, I'm Marco from AxelTech, and today we're going to see how can I uh, stream an HLS stream IP output out of our playout, uh, our XTV uh, channel in a box uh, automation. So first of all, let's put something in the playlist. Press the play button. Loop is on. Good. And put some CG. So we have a source. So. I'm going to the IP streaming section. I'm going to activate the first stream, okay? And I'm going to downscale uh, to uh, SD format, uh, just to keep it lighter. Uh, also converts to 1024 times 576, so it's a square pixel, looks better on mobile devices. And for HLS, you know, I'm gonna select the format. Here we have RTMP, UDP, SRT, all that. I'm going to select Apple HTTP live streaming, which is actually HLS. I'm going to select the video codec. So H264, 2 megabit is fine. Uh, AAC for audio at 128. What I'm going to do here, usually if it was RTMP, you would put a URL, URL like or UDP. In this case, uh, that's, that's the different thing about HLS. It's actually a file based format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder where to keep my files. And in this case, it's going to be in the C drive in the HLS folder. So it's going to be C HLS slash my stream dot M3 U8. That's the default extension for uh, HLS format. One important thing to do is in the advanced parameters of the format, you need to specify this parameter, the delete underscore segments under the flags section. Why? Because this allows the system to delete the old segments or else your, 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 the, ch the chunks and actually we're talking about those are the segments or the disk will fill up. So I'm going to start the stream. And when you start a stream, you look at the stats, uh, the stats on the top, the frames are counting. If the frame counting stops, that means there's something wrong, like you didn't create the folder or you didn't put the right path or something. And also FPS is important. It tells you that it's streaming at the right frame rate. If you have low system resources like CPU or GPU or disk or whatever, it's not going to keep up to that. So the stream is working good. Now let's test it. How? Uh, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to stop it for a second. Just copy this, control C, and then start again. And then I'm going to open a VLC. And I'm going to tell the system, open file. Oh, I can put it, cut, paste it right in over there. And that's your stream, which is actually playing. Okay, so we got our stream up. So it's working. So now what? Now, well, usually when you want HLS, it's because you want to actually send it to somebody or distribute it in some way. And in this case, the m 3 u 8 file is, is just a playlist on your local drive. So usually w w what what you provide to outside viewers or you know uh, whoever needs to get that stream from you is a URL. So what you need is a way to, to, to actually distribute this through a URL. So you need a web server. So what I've done here in Windows, I'm just I've just installed uh, the default web server for Windows here on Turn Windows Features on and off, and I enable the inter Internet Information Server, which is actually just your, what is called IIS, which is the default uh, Windows server. And how do you check that? Well, if I open my Chrome and I go on 127.0.0.1, that's your web server, which is just empty now. How do you configure that? There's a utility called IIS Manager. And here, of course, you can do uh, all sorts of things like, I don't know, change the port or actually change the, uh, the physical path of the server, which in this case is some IC drive. Where is it? Well, let's, let's have a look. So if 
If I open, oh, another important, okay, I'll, I'll get that, to that later. But anyway, usually that, that's, this is the default, uh, default folder, and that's where it is. I've created an HLS folder, so I'm going to copy and paste, Control C. So now what I'm going to do, instead of going to this local folder, I'm just going to go to a folder which is inside the IIS configuration, and I'm going to start that. Okay. So now what happens is if I get my VLC, uh, VLC, come on, VLC, I can actually specify a network stream in this format, HTTP 127.0.0.0.1, and then I have my path inside that IIS folder. And of Our course, leaders, I can see it. it. The most uh, I had to do an additional configuration inside the IIS. I want to just show you, just because in the default installation, uh, there's no meme type for that uh, for the M3U8. So what I did is I just added for M3U8. Let me find it and show you to you. There it is. And I did this dot, I added and then m, dot m3u8 application slash vnd apple MPEG world that I found that on the internet. And, and as you see, it's local because I actually found it or else the IIS will not know what to do with it. And, and, and you won't be able to see it. I want to show you another thing that if I open my Chrome and I'm going to go HTTP, that's not, let's, let's paste that. Okay. So it's like this http slash 127.0.0.1 slash hls slash my stream dot m3 u8 he won't actually know what to do with it i won't be able to see it because it needs a, a player an html5 player page to actually view it in, in fact what it did, it downloaded the file, and then of course I can double click on it, but it won't work because it doesn't have the right the right references to it. So, so I won't be able to see it. But the stream is valid, and VLC uh, validated it. Okay, so that's the first way of doing it. One more thing, uh, in the advanced parameters of the Apple HTTP streaming, as you see, I have a interesting. Uh, parameter which is embed underscore SCT, SCT 35 these are scatty triggers I set it to true and this will allow you to send your SCT 35 triggers uh, the, to the stream I want to say something though there are actually two formats in order to do this uh, the format we use actually embeds the scatty triggers inside the video stream there's another format which actually uh, writes the scatty triggers inside the manifest file, which is the M3UET file. We do not support that, but um, uh, there's a way of converting between the two formats. If you have a WALS of server, for example, on the cloud and you're sending your HLS to the WALS of server, it, there's a way that the WALS of server can convert from the SCADI 35 triggers inside the video stream to uh, SCADI 35 in the manifest files. Okay, there's another way of doing this, which is a little more simple, let's say, maybe. So I'm gonna activate the second stream. Let me deactivate that one. So, okay, it's deactivated, okay, it's stopped. Activate, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stream in RTMP format using my NVIDIA GPU, a two megabit AAC, and I'm going to start the local RTMP server mount point live. What is that? Actually, it's a small web server like uh, like the I Microsoft IAS, but it's called NG uh, INX. It's very, very light, okay? And it's already started on the background when I clicked on it. Mount point live. So I have to specify a live mount point and then I just give a, a name to my to my stream let's call it xtv test there it is i'm gonna start that 
So I'm actually broadcasting an IP stream in RTMP format to the media server, NGINX uh, web server and media server. And as you see, uh, frame count is going up, FPS is good, and there's something interesting, stats at HTTP localhost. So the NGINX not only uh, uses default port, port uh, 1935 for the R, as a RNTP server, but also has a, a web page where you can control this. So not now. And, th and there you have it. This is the Accent Media Server. I have an XTV test connected. And actually, if I click on Watch Stream, oh, I'll be know. able to... Okay, let me pause that. I'll be able to see the stream because this is an HTML5 player window. And what the media server does, it actually converts the RTMP stream to an HLS. And that's, and that's where you have your HLS. Okay. And so if I open my VLC, let's see if it's a valid HLS. And I go with open network and I paste that. Oh, I didn't paste it correctly. Sorry. So let me go like this. Control C. And then media, open network stream, control V. And I don't see anything. Why? I'm not sure. Oh, Level. There is. Sorry. This isn't just a gathering seconds. of the world's most powerful. Okay, so what's the difference? Well, the first method that I've shown you is actually the native method, but you need an external web server in order to expose that. This method actually is a uh, a faster method, but uh, so the conversion is done by the NGINX, so you have both the RTMP stream and the HLS stream, but as you see, I don't have any embed SCADI 35. Why? Because SCADI 35 is supported only in certain uh, IP uh, streaming formats, which is UDP, DVB, SRT, SRT, the, the, the difference between these two is that the DVB compliant, compatible streaming has a little more parameters, but also has a PCR timing, which is more precise, which is needed in the DVB environment. The same here, SRT just converts the UDP and embeds it in a SRT format, but it essentially is the same. And of course, the Apple HTTP. So those are the ones which actually support the SCADI 35. I hope I was useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.